Oh, hello. I just had an amazing 10-15 uh, minutes, like really, really good because something I really I got something that I really liked. Um, I was just clicking around the internet and I was trying to listen to um, this video clip. Oh, this is going to probably be a long video because you know there's a lot in this, but you know just I don't know how interesting it'll be, but um, it will be fairly long because I want to set it all up. Um, I was just looking at for this video of like, because when I was a little kid, right, in primary school, there was a TV show on the ABC called Monkey, and people in it my in my generation around that time, a lot of them, a lot of us really love this show. Like you, you'll know it's cult. It's so fun and awesome. It's really really good. It's the it was made in the seventies or eighties. You know that's when it was on TV and. Um, it's awesome. It's so much fun and good storylines, good characters. It's based on the the novel by this Chinese um, writer from many years ago. Like um, I don't know when it was written, but a few hundred years at least, I guess. But um, it's based on a story called Journey to the West, and it's so much fun. This series, I really love it. Um, and this version, this Japanese version of it, is my favorite version. Like. Like, they've made other versions of it, but it, to me, it just doesn't... This is the version that I love. Um, yeah, like, now that I think about it, sometimes they say, um, uh, when they t turn a book into a movie or a TV show or something, it's never as good as the book, which is true, but in this case, it was so good. Like, I mean, I won't say it's better than the book, because the book is probably amazing, but it was great in another another way they had so much fun with it especially the english dub of it i love the english dub the music the um character the people who played the parts i oh, love it can't say enough about this show one of my favorite shows ever um so entertaining like it's one of those shows i could just pop in any episode and just enjoy watching because it. it's kind of cheesy and fun and yeah it doesn't take itself too seriously at all i love it um, so basically, I've established now that I really love this show called Monkey, and um, when I was in primary school also, there was a bookmobile, so they, they'd, um, you know, the library would have this, like a truck filled with books, it was like a little mobile library, it would stop in front of our school on, a, like, I don't know, a Thursday or something, we'd all go in and find books to read, and uh, I remember finding a book, and I still remember the title, it was called Dear Monkey, and it was based on um, Journey to the West, so it's a translation of the novel. And the thing is, it was uh, an abridged version, so instead of, let's just, I don't know how long the novel is, but let's just say it's 40 chapters, I'm just going to say that maybe it's like this abridged version was like 16 or something like that, so it had like, you know, the best, or the fav author's favorite, the translator's favorite parts of the story or something, so I read it and I enjoyed it, but I've never gotten to read all of it, like, you know, all of the stories, and even the TV series probably wouldn't have gone through all the stories. So, um, yeah, I've, it's always been something that I've really kind of, you know, regretted not being able to do, like being able to read the full story, because I don't, don't know how to read Chinese. Um, but what happened today was I was looking on this fan tribute site for Monkey Magic. You know, there's, you know, there's still someone, people out there, there who had made a little shrine on the net for this show. You know, it's like... And I can totally understand it because, you know, I love the show as much as any, like, any other show that I love. And, um, and they had a new post. It wasn't, it wasn't just, it was so cool because, you know, sometimes you have these shrines, but they haven't been updated for so long. And it's like, it's just kind of like dead, kind of like dead in the internet, just floating around. And, um, uh, yeah. And so... It was cool because there was a post from this year and I was like, whoa, what's, what's going on here? So I read it and then they said, um, a full unabridged translation of Journey to West is out, published now. Like, and I'll, when I read it, I was like, oh, so cool. i got to check this out. So I clicked on the link, checked out Amazon, and sure enough, there was like four volumes of it. Each each volume is about 500 something pages. And um, that's the full story of Monkey Magic translated into English by someone named Anthony C... Uh, U, so C is a, like the letter C, and um, I just read that it took him six years to translate it, um, and that's a long time, isn't it? And I'd love to, I'd like to thank him for this. Like, I'll probably, I don't know how, maybe I'll go to the website where the 
I think it was done by some university. I need to write to him and just tell him to say thank you that um, for for spending the time to do that. Because um, now I get to read it. Like I don't know if I will read the whole thing because it's a long book and I have so much to read. But I like the fact that I have it, the option of it now. Um, and so I was considering like um, buying either the hardback, paperback, or Kindle version. So the hardback version was about $60, the paperback version was about $20, and the Kindle version was $14. And that's for each volume of... So um, so there's four of them. And that's a fair price to me, because 550 pages for a volume, that's long. So it's not like... Yeah, so definitely the price is not a problem. But um, first of all, I... Because the paperback version, I'd have to carry it around. I'd leave it in my room. And wouldn't have to read it all the time. So Kindle version is good because once I bought it, it, buy it, it's always on the cloud. It's always on my Kindle, which is what I've always got with me. So I don't have to lug around the books. Um, it's not as nice as having the actual box set there, but uh, again, like you know, it's just nice having it on the, my Kindle. Um, so what I did was, um, yeah, I looked up on the Kindle store, found the books quite easily. Ah, oh, technology is great. Like um, just search for Journey to the West and came up, click buy, and then it had the little spinny thing, and then it's on my Kindle, like it didn't even take a minute, it took a few seconds, isn't that amazing, like, I wanted this book, and I searched for it, and then within a few minutes, no, yep, and um, yeah, so, I found that amazing, like, that's a moment where technology was just amazing, like, you know, ugh, can't get over it, like, it was just one of those moments where it just, like, really occurred to me, like, wow, this is amazing, like, I wanted this book, it was out there, and then boom, 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 and then now, just sitting on this device, Kindle, sitting there, ready for me to read, like, it's incredible, I love it, so, um, yeah, I don't know what else. Oh, I want to show a few things. Just, just, uh, just, well, that's my Kindle at the moment. And so, you know how Kindle, this is Kindle Paperwhite, which I love. I love Kindle Paperwhite and this screen that glows, because my other Kindle was great, but, like, when it gets dark, like, you know, it just gets harder and harder to read because there's no light. This means that total darkness, I could still read it. It's so cool. Love it. Love the Kindle Paperweight. Um, so that's the screen and this is it, so there's four volumes but only three will show up now. So it's one, two, three I don't know. Somewhere. And so that's the fourth one. <laughs> and I don't know. I took some photos of when I was buying it as well. Might as well show them. I took a photo of, <laughs> as if you can read that. Well, no, you can't read it. Can't read that either. And <laughs> basically, that was when I was buying it. I took a photo of it, and then it's this. You you bought it. Um, I don't know what else to say except, ah, uh, uh, I yeah, I don't really like explaining storylines or plots, but. Journey to West is this um, journey of these four characters. Um, Tripitaka, the monk, Monkey Magic or Monkey, the Monkey King, uh, Pigsy, is a guy who's um, yeah, and uh, he's, and uh, Sandy, oh, love it, love it, love. It. Oh, another thing I wanted to do was uh, just quickly play the music from the TV show, which is so good. The music is amazing. It's just so... I don't know if it's nostalgia tied in with the music, but I love the music, and so many other people love the music too. It's, um... The music was by a band called Go Diego, I think. A Japanese band. And I will find it now, so... Can you, if you can bear with me. Um, I want to play two of the songs from it. The intro song, which is great, and then the end credit song, which is also really nice. Uh... Hopefully, this is it. Monkey was irreplaceable. 
prism. So that's the intro song. Awesome intro song. <clears throat> okay, so just try to find the outro song or the end credit song. Monkey Magic. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> this should only take a little bit, hopefully. Uh, I think this is it. Thank you for bearing with me. It's incredible. <laughs> um, it's nostalgia. Wow, I really like that end, end song. Because when I watch it, it reminds me of being a little kid watching it um, on the afternoon show on the ABC. And um, like listening, watching it every day. Um, it, was, it was on Monday to Friday. And um, yeah, we all love that show. And just, yeah, it just brings back a lot of memories. So awesome, awesome show. One of my favourite shows ever. Right at the top. Um, yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, I think that's all I want to talk about. Monkey magic, or monkey, whatever you want to call it. Journey to the West is awesome. And I'm really glad that this person has spent the time to translate it. Thank you, Anthony Yu.